Hello, Mr. George. Hello, how are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Really appreciate it. So before we get started with the tips for the summer uh, for parents, um, to do what to do with your kids <laughs> for the summertime, it's always a question. That's right? a, yeah, interesting but, question, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. But before we get started, uh, let's have a little background about how you became a teacher. Well, it was kind of not a long story, uh -huh. kind of an interesting story. Um, I graduated uh, from college in New York City. Okay. actually grew up in England, and now my family moved to uh, New York City. Uh -huh. I went to college in New York, and um, after I graduated, I, didn't re I couldn't really find a job that I wanted in an engineering field. Mm, that was so, your major? Engineering? Yeah, okay. an engineering okay. field. So uh, I just took some summer jobs and ended up working in a, in a day camp. Mm. with kids and uh, it was an incredible experience. Wow. I was actually a tennis counselor. <laughs> <laughs> Believe so it or not. You had a background in tennis? I had, I had a background. I was a lot of, oh, into sports, okay. soccer, tennis. Okay. So I was actually hired as a tennis counselor and it was a lot of fun uh -huh. and I just loved working with the kids at that time. Uh -huh. And you know that the summer turned into fall and I ended up looking for a job in the New York City public school system. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so wow. And one thing just led to another. One thing that led to another. Okay. And the next thing I knew, I was teaching in um, New York City public schools. Wow. So how long were you in uh, that school system? Oh, at least nine to ten years in the New wow. York City public system. And then you eventually found your way down to South Florida. My, my family moved to South Florida, okay. and I found my way to South Florida. I continued with teaching, some substitute teaching, um, and ended up with the hospital homebound program. Tell me about that. Okay, a really incredible program yes. um, designed for uh, children, uh, students who are unable to attend regular school. Mm -hmm. um, so they, they have to have either a teacher mm -hmm. come to the house and work with them, mm -hmm. or they can do it via telephone conference, oh, which okay. is called the telephone class or the tele teleconferences. Okay. And that way the students, even though they're home, they right. can still continue and graduate and get to the next grade. Awesome. And, and you know, continue with their education even though they're home and sick. Right, right, right. So, um, one of the interesting things is that, that there's a contract between Broward County and Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital mm -hmm. to have a teacher on site here. Yes, yes. And that's where I was lucky enough to be placed here about 10 years ago. 10 so. years, that's amazing. <laughs> and I heard you just uh, received a teacher of the award, teacher of the year award. Yes, I did. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, thank you so much. Um, I always say it's a group effort. Yes. Um, couldn't do it without everyone here. It's mm -hmm. amazing working here mm -hmm. with everyone, the doctors, nurses, child life, music therapists, clowns, you name it. We um, have it all here. We have everything here. <laughs> yes. And just, I'm just so happy because I think it shows that what, what can be done with teamwork mm -hmm. and what, and children don't have to be, you know, left behind or they, they can still continue with their education even though they're hospitalized yes. or at home. Yes, yes. So I think it's a wonderful program and I'm glad we have it. Awesome. Yeah. So you teach a multitude of grades since you're the one, one teacher and there are many kids with over different ages. Absolutely. We try to work with every kid uh, who, who needs help at the time. Mm -hmm. It can be a student who's gonna, maybe going to be here for a long term. Mm -hmm. So in which case we probably enroll them in homebound. Uh -huh. And um, either I become the teacher or they okay. do it via teleconference. Okay. Or if it's just the students that are here for a few weeks, we can try to get the work from the school. Mm -hmm. Parents help a lot with that. Um, they usually get the work and we can work on it. Mm -hmm. Or it could just be, you know, a kid's in for a few days and we can, you know, how do you do those algebra problems? Right. Let's get them done. Like a tutor, just help me with exactly. the specifics. Okay. And, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Go and ahead. and, and uh, also, one thing, you know, we love to have fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, uh, we, do, we are kind of, I hate to say this, almost famous for our, our experiments that we do at Georgia oh, Marjorie. <laughs> okay. We've been doing the slime, we've been uh -huh. doing volcanoes nice. and lava lamps and as many aren't hands on. Yes. I, I, you know, I, I feel ch kids will learn and enjoy learning if they're having fun. Yes, definitely. And in that environment. So yes. that's what we try to create. Here. Awesome. And now, do you teach all subjects? Math. Well, usually it's usually um, my specialty is math, okay. but we do have um, like a K through 12 certification for the teachers in the hospital. Mm -hmm. So, in fact, all the homebound teachers have that. So we can have, you know, we can work with everything. We can work with the different subjects. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if I need help with something at some time, <laughs> right. we do have resources where we sure. can, some of the other homebound teachers can call in and help, okay. and we can try to figure things out. But, Very collaborative. But we try to help. Awesome. Okay. So let's get into the summer. Tips for parents. What 
suggestions, tips, advice would you give parents? I think the summer should be, first of all, the mm -hmm. kids should know that they're on summer break, they're having fun, Yes. but they want to try to continue with reading, uh, uh, definitely reading. Mm -hmm. Now, if reading was an issue, you know, that school year, mm -hmm. definitely in a fun way. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we could, parents could take their kids to the Barnes & Noble, yes. to the bookstores, yes. pick out something that you like, continue reading a little bit every day. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be question and answer, mm -hmm. but as long as it's done on a regular schedule, maybe like, a, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day of okay. reading okay. of a book that uh, the kid really likes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Math as well. Math can be done, again, a little bit at a time every day. Mm. Um, for the elementary kids, times tables, second, third, mm -hmm. fourth grade, make sure you know those. Okay. Because uh, everything, fractions, everything's coming up later, so yes, yes. you want to make sure you know. Um, there's a lot of stuff online that we can be done. There's mm. Khan Academy, um, and to name a few of these little programs. Starfall is good for the younger kids, mm. That where we could just continue and just develop basic skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I would say that to the parents, just do something a little bit every day what the, what the, the kids is going to enjoy. And why is that important? Uh, could you just explain, at, you know, when summertime comes, it's usually about two months off. Exactly. And yeah. surprisingly, a lot of parents might not realize that their kids forget. <laughs> oh, absolutely. That's a great <laughs> that point. That's a, that's a great yeah, point. Year. Even if it's going back and reviewing what we do. Like I, I have a folder for a first grade student that's uh -huh. going to be here for a while. Uh -huh. So I just, you know, just perhaps going over some of the stuff that the, the, the child had difficulty with, hmm. um, reviewing, adding, subtracting. Um, I've always felt games like Sorry and Monopoly Ooh, have been yes. really good too. Yeah, um, I know they're yeah, all, I love know Monopoly. It might be a battle to do with the video games, but um, right. but you know, throwing a dice, counting the numbers, mm -hmm. reading the cards, mm -hmm. it's all part of the learning process. Mm -hmm. And it, it once the I think once a student has fun, um, I think that you know they're going to look at it in a different light mm -hmm. and get off to a good start in, yes. in the next year. Yes. So yes. that's what we're looking for. And the key is fun, interesting. Just find out what your kid is into. Maybe they're into ro robots. Maybe they're into Absolutely. soil and insects or like whatever they're into. Absolutely. Right? I couldn't agree with it. Every, every student or every child is in maybe has something that they really like that oh, maybe yeah. you didn't know about. You know? Exactly, um, exactly. Art is a wonderful way of yes. expression for, for, for children. And mm -hmm. they, they become, you know, more at ease mm -hmm. in the school environment if they're doing something that they really like. Mm -hmm. And if they can, for example, we did, in our classroom actually, it's, it's all taken down right now. But okay. We have, uh, every student that comes here, we always, always have them draw something and write a little bit about themselves. Oh, yes. And I totally, um, on their own. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we usually have the whole room filled at the end of the year with oh, artwork. Oh, of course, and yeah. That's a way of just kind of opening them, opening up that that avenue, that, uh -huh. that way of just, you know, that the light comes on and, you know, the kid gets really excited and yeah. wants to do it. And you never know where it can end. So mm -hmm. you just keep doing that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just keep making it fun and um, having lots of nice activities that are just simple, but um, that, 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 that everyone's going to like. And it sounds like short but consistent, like yes. 20, 30 minutes, that's not very long. No. At all. A day. Yeah. At, but it's amazing how much, for, for times tables, for example, mm -hmm. 20 minutes of times tables a day could make a big difference mm, if you okay. add that up to in the week. Yeah. And by the end of the week, oh, well, I know these. I know how to do these. You need a whole that's table. <laughs> what to tell. So, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, obviously, for, for, for different children, it's different. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. Sure. It's not going to be the same for everyone. Right. But I think a little bit of consistency through the summer mm -hmm. and make sure the kids have a lot of fun over the summer mm -hmm. so they have a memory and they love to go back to school yes. and, and enjoy. Yes, awesome. Mm -hmm. And of course, the science experiments too. Those would be fun to just do with your kids. It's like a bonding experience, I it would imagine. It is so, so interesting. Yeah. Because you, you can, you can the, 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 usually the stuff is very, very inexpensive. inexpensive right? Household yeah. equipment, yeah. our household uh, stuff around the house. Sure. You can just grab it. A volcano you can baking use. Baking soda. Baking soda. Vinegar. <laughs> Vinegar. There okay, you go. Okay. You can some throw ketchup. some. <laughs> some ketchup. Okay. I don't want all the moms out there just to say, Mr. George, what are you doing to my kitchen? <laughs> Sorry, mom. Sorry. But it's fun, and that yeah. way you get to sit and you have a quality time mm -hmm. of where you're learning. You're yeah. learning how to make something, yes. and it's the accomplishment when the kids see, you know, that volcano erupting. Wow! Look at this. Yeah, this is great. You know. Yeah. So that that that's that's what that's what you're looking for. 
cool. Anything else you want to add before we? I end? hope everybody has a wonderful summer. Um, it's been an awesome school year. I hope everyone comes back well rested. Be very safe and start reading those books and enjoy yourself. And hopefully, I won't have to see you in the hospital. But if I do, you know, I look forward to to working with you. Thank you so much, Mr. George. Okay. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank Bye. you. See you next time. Bye.